Jump, de jump, jump, jump. Zelda, I need this for my date Saturday night. No way. I'm wearing it Saturday night. Remember, girls, no biting, headbutting, or voodoo curses. So, Saturday, I'm treating Harvey to a movie at the. Hill Dog. Huh? Oh! Ah! No! So much for cats always landing on their fate. Listen, I'm not going to tell you again. No, I'm not going to tell you again. What is all this? Quiet, everyone. One at a time. You're all wrong. One at a time. It's Zelda's fault. She's being stingy and trying to ruin my date Saturday night. It's my jacket, and I'm going to wear it on my date Saturday night. I was on the phone planning my Saturday night. Saturday, Smatterday. They stepped on my tail. It's numb, and I get a shooting pain whenever I cough. <laughs> Now everyone just settle down. There's no need to argue because from now on, we're spending every Saturday night together. Huh? I've decided to reinstate family fun night. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Shoot me now. Get into the horror. Family fun night? But, but, Uncle Quigley, we already tried that. It was so not fun. Now, we never really gave it a chance. You know, we all get so darn busy with our own lives, we forget we're a family. So I say we start spending Saturday nights together. Hey, wait a minute. What happened to Miss Peplum? Um, um, uh, Pe Peplum. Uh, uh, name doesn't ring a bell. Uh... Olympia Peplum. You know, that nice lady from uh, the uh... Garden Club you go to the movies with every Saturday night. Come on, Quig, spill. What happened? Oh, all right, all right. She, she ran off to Acapulco with the candy counter man. Aha! Uh -huh. She always did have a weakness for men in uniform. Say no more, Quigs. I've got the perfect woman for you. And she's just at that age where she's getting too old for pro wrestling. Hold it. Stop right there. You will not, I repeat, not meddle in my love life, Hilda. I knew it. He's still mad about that blind date with the cannibal. Anyway, this isn't just about me. I also happen to feel this family needs some quality time together. Now, to start with, I have tickets this Saturday for all of us to attend a slideshow at the Garden Club. Root rot, friend or foe. And in the weeks to come, we'll be seeing a barbershop quartet concert, a debate on the metric system, and a tag team mahjong marathon. Uncle Quiggs, you can't take away our Saturday nights. It's not fair. Nonsense. Witches live practically forever. You'll have an eternity of Saturday nights to do whatever you want. For now, get ready for family fun. Each one of those nights is going to seem like an eternity. The answer is simple. As we said, Quigley needs a girlfriend. But he told us not to meddle in his love life. No, he told you not to meddle. That just leaves more meddling for the rest of us. <laughs> Got that? Read it back. SWM. That's Short Wrinkle Mortal. Seeks SWF, that's Stunning Witch Female. For romance adventure and something to do on Saturday nights, RSVP immediately, no nose rings or tattoos. Perfect. I don't know. Are you sure Uncle Quigley should be dating a witch? Hey, if we're going to get him out of our hair, he has to meet a really fun woman. And everyone knows there's no more fun than a witch. One personal ad on its way to the Netherworld special delivery. <laughs> now! do is wait. <gasps> but not for long. Quigley, I presume. Uh, yes? Mm, good. I like him, Pudgy. I'm Cersei, your stunning witch female. Ready for our date in the netherworld? Uh, date? Netherworld? What are you talking? All right! <laughs> Wait, who are you? What is this place? Just your normal sushi bar. All you can eat or be eaten. Let's go. You said you liked museums. 
Make them go away! But your ad said you were looking for adventure. Ad? What ad? I hope you didn't lie. Do you know what I do to men who deceive me? Isn't Uncle Quigley back yet? <sighs> He's never been out this late before. He's never even been up this late before. <laughs> Maybe we got lucky and they eloped. That must be them now. That's funny. There's nobody, huh? Say, isn't Cersei the witch who turns men into... <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Quigley! Quigley! So, how was your date? Uncle Quig, these kinds of spells wear off in a day, usually. You think he'll ever forgive us? More importantly, do you think he'll use my litter box? I got it all arranged just the way I like it. So, Porky, aren't you gonna have bacon with those eggs? <laughs> Not funny. And the less said by you, the better. I just know somehow that nightmare date was your idea. If I ever find out... Me? Hey, I never meddle in the romances of farm animals. Say, isn't tonight your first family fun night? Yes, it is. I'm taking the girls to a lecture on agricultural trade policy by the Assistant Deputy Secretary to the Deputy Prime Minister of Canada. That ought to pack them in. Too bad <laughs> they don't allow pets, but I bet the girls are looking forward to the big night. Tell me we're not about to spend Saturday night at a lecture. I still can't believe the witch woman idea was such a disaster. You know, maybe it didn't work because she wasn't Uncle Quigley's choice. Maybe if he had a date with someone he liked in the first place, it might stand a chance. But who does he like? He's so secretive about things like that. Leave that to me. I'm good with secrets. Uncovering them, that is, not keeping them. When I cast a freeze frame spell, they freeze. Usually. He never saw it coming. And they say cats are sneaky. It's for his own good, Salem. Now, how do we find out who he likes? Simple. We look into his heart. Voila! A list of Uncle Quigley's secret loves. Hmm. Eleanor Roosevelt, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Queen Latifah. Hey, Quigley has a crush on Martha Stewart. No good. Who else? Huh? Corinthia Bleachstain? My junior high principal? He likes her? Gross! Mommy. Quick, he's coming too. What? How long have I been napping? It's so unlike me. Uncle Quig, I think you're sleeping more because you're depressed. You need some excitement in your life. Like a date with someone special, like, oh, I don't know, Corinthian backstrain? Corinthia bleach stain? Word around school is she thinks you're cute. She does? Oh, but she would never go out with... Say, what makes you think I'd be interested in her? Um, call it female intuition. Speaking of calling, huh? I called her for you. It's ringing. Wait, th th this is unacceptable. This is outrageous. Th this is... Th this is Quigley. Oh, why, yes, it is a surprise. I, I was just wondering, uh, um... If you, uh, if you, uh, if you would go uh, out uh, to dinner with me uh, tonight. I quite understand. Uh, goodbye. Yes, she said yes. I've only got 11 hours to get ready. Is that time enough for a hair weave? <laughs> Yo, ladies, we must discuss your tendency to interfere with my personal life when I have more time. Well, we're off. We're going to Mars for a canal boat ride. Sort of an interplanetary singles cruise. I hope the saying's true. Real men are from Mars. What about you, Sabrina? All my friends were busy, but that's okay. TV and microwave popcorn beats a lecture every time. Don't wait up for us, and make sure Quigley isn't late to meet his date. You know, I'm worried. I mean, Uncle Quig was so nervous on the phone, and if he botches this date, we might as well cross Saturday night off the calendar forever. Sabrina, you're meddling again. But Uncle Quigley needs help. Our help. 
Leave me out of this. Besides, where would you start? I'd start with his clothes. He always wears that lumpy old jacket. He should wear something... something cool. Looking good. Uncle Quigley? Is that a new suit? It's not mine. I must have picked up the wrong bag at the dry cleaners. Well, a good thing it fits. I have nothing else to wear. Wow, lucky mistake. I'll take it back for you tomorrow. Well, mustn't keep Ms. Bleach Dane waiting. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, I'm sure you'll rock her world. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do, Dagger. Did you see that? He's a nervous wreck. He does need our help. What do you suggest? We ride along on their date? Great idea! No! Kidding! Don't! Me and my big mouth. Shh! He's coming. This old car really doesn't go with his new suit. That can be fixed with a little help from the garage door opener. Stop it! Stop! Oh my. I suppose I'll just have to drive it as is. Why do I bother? This man has zero sense of style. Shh! empty-handed. No wonder he's an old bachelor. Yikes, you're right. Yeah. Quickly, for me. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, yes, Miss Bleachstain, uh, uh, for you. I'll go get my coat. All right, I know you're out there. Hilda, Zelda. Sabrina, somebody's making magic, and I wanted to stop this. Did you say something? Huh? Uh, who? Me? No. <laughs> Shall we go? Quigley, let's not dawdle. Call me Gloomy Gus, but he didn't sound too grateful. Oh, that's just first date jitters. This is so romantic. It's like a Romeo and Juliet thing. And we all know how that turned out. Come on, I'll meet you at the restaurant. What can I say? It's like an accident. You just gotta watch. Quigley, is something wrong? You're acting like someone's after you. Yes, I mean, no. I mean, I thought there might be someone here I know, but they wouldn't dare meddle in my personal affairs. Not if they don't want to be grounded for life. Quigley, what on earth are you talking about? Nothing. It better be nothing. Well, um, what looks uh, good tonight? You heard the man. We better get out of here. We'll leave just as soon as I'm sure the date's going okay, okay? Well, it better not be too long. This pepper's me. Chew! Gesundheit. Gesundheit. Bonsoir. Madame and Monsieur are ready to order, no? No, I mean, yes. I mean, I, I, I think I'd like to start with the, um, Vigie Soiree Bougainville, yeah? Monsieur makes a little joke. You just ordered an appendectomy? I did? Well, uh, I'll have, um... Uh, well, I'll have, um... We started with chilled consommé foie, followed by beef bourguignon with crème brûlée flambé for dessert, and bring a bottle of your best bubbly. It is an honor to serve you, monsieur. Why, Quigley, what did you order? Yeah, uh, dinner, I think. Not too shabby, Shireen. Think so? Watch this. May I have this dance? Dance? <laughs> I don't hear any music. Dance with me, Corinthia. This is the most...
most romantic thing I've seen since that big sinking boat. I'll just put some icing on this cake. I have you on the brain. Careful now. You are my heart's refrain. What's happening to you? I know that I'll go insane. <laughs> unless I gain the love of you, my own bleach stain. Quickly, now. enough now. Easy. <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed in my life. How dare you make such a spectacle? But I didn't mean to... Yes, you did. Look at you. Your suit, your car, your impeccable French. Why, you're nothing but a... but a two-bit lounge lizard! Huh? This is awful. I gotta make Bleach stay like a Quigley now. I gotta make him... Irresistible! I've never been so humiliated. I'll just pay for my half and leave. On the other hand, I think I love you. Quigley, let's talk about us. Miss Bleachstain, uh, Corinthia, I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything to her. Talk to me, cutie pie. No, you don't. I saw him first. I think you made him a tad too irresistible. He's attracting every middle-aged lady in the joint. This is a high-class établissement. Besides, he's mine. Sabrina, do you know what you've done? It's Quigley Mania! Fancy meeting you here. You had to do it. You had to ruin my date with your meddling and your witchcraft. I, I'm sorry, Uncle Quig. I was just trying to help. We'll talk about this later. Just fix it. Undo whatever you did. Okay, but I'll need some help. Salem, do you think you could pay Tilda and Zelda? We'll do. <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long? Why, is something wrong? Sabrina put a spell on Quigley to make him irresistible, and now there's a mob of crazed women tearing up the theater. Phew. Oh, is that all? You guys take care of Quigley. We'll handle the women. Don't move. I want to get this right. We interrupt this movie to bring you a special announcement. You are getting drowsy. You will remember nothing of this evening but going to the movies. Is it working? Am I back to normal? You certainly look resistible to me. He'd better be. The movie just ended. I don't know. Thanks to Zelda and me, Bleachstain doesn't remember a thing. Well, it's just as well. Turns out she's not my type after all. Well, uh, look at the time. If we hurry, we can catch the end of the lecture. Quigley? 
Olympia? Miss Peplum? I thought you were in Acapulco with that candy man. Oh, he, he was sweet, but it didn't work out. My, don't you look handsome in that uniform? Oh, Quigley, I give anything to have our Saturday nights back. Can you ever forgive me? Of course. What do you say we start now with the late show? And don't wait up for me. It's a double feature. Well, what do you know? Our Saturday nights are safe again. Maybe we better follow them just to make sure things go right. No! no! Aunt Hilda, I think Quigley's old enough to handle his own love life without our help. Yep, we've meddled our last medal. You can learn a lot being a pink flamingo. Sorry we ruined your date on Mars. It's okay. I was with a guy with eight arms, and he couldn't keep any to himself. You know, this movie looked pretty good. Want to catch the late show? Okay, but let's not sit too close to the screen. I get a neck ache. Oh, no. You and Sabrina have to stay. Somebody has to watch the candy counter. Why isn't anybody working around here? Hey! Olympia! to pay for Uncle Quigley's stupid doll. You're the one who broke it. But you're the one who summed up a whirlwind to do the dusting and didn't read the directions. For, for outdoor, outdoor use, use only. only. If you just occasionally get the facts before you leap into things. I would have no fun. Meanwhile, I need a job or I'll be on half allowance until I'm 30. Ooh, they need crust scrapers down at the car wash. I was thinking more like, Cover model for romance novels. <sighs> Gaze into the brilliant blue of my eyes, Fabio. Sure, right after I chuck a hairball into the brilliant pink of Zelda's house slipper. <gasps> Here we go. Beauty, poise, and talent show. First prize, a hundred dollars? Sorry, kid, but you winning that show is a fantasy in search of an island. Get practical. Now you're the one jumping to conclusions. It's a show for cats. Oh, well, you mean I should enter? Now that's practical. I just knew you'd like the idea. Hey, with these rugged good looks and my warlock abilities, I'll make those junior league cats look like something the dog dragged in. I hate this thing. I'm sorry. I didn't know all the cats had to be in cages. But wasn't it nice of that lady to loan us her birdcage? Peachy, it would have been even nicer if you'd checked out the rules before we got here. Here come the judges. Try to look dazzling. You try to look dazzling with your knee and your liver. <laughs> Got it made in the shade. <gasps> They're announcing the winner. The winner of the beauty competition is... Scheherazade. Huh? Owner, Harvey Kinkle. Harvey? Hey, Sabrina. Since when do you own a cat? Since Monday. Scheherazade just showed up on my doorstep. She had a collar with her name on it. She's incredible, Sabrina. You won't believe what she can do. Time for the poise contest. <laughs> All right, I admit she's not bad looking for a Persian. Luckily, this contest is also about poise. And poise is my middle name. <laughs> Oh, my! What? 
Shahrazad. There's still the talent contest. Enough. Scheherazade will be available for more photos at our press conference. <laughs> Congratulations on winning first prize, Harvey. Cheer up, Sabrina. Second place is winning, too. Except without the fame and glory and money. Show off. <laughs> hey! Hmm. If I didn't know you were just a cat, I'd... I'd... You'd what, Salem darling? No! Come on, girl. Time for our press conference. See you later, Sabrina. Hi. 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 Holy free... Holy. Salem, what's wrong? Scheherazade. She's not a cat. She's a witch. And what's more... I once almost married her. Really? Are you sure it's her? She looked human then, but I'd know her voice anywhere. It was over 400 years ago before the witches' council turned me into a cat. The last time I saw her, I'd promised to meet her at the Tower of London. We had tickets to that Anne Boleyn thing. She didn't know it, but I was planning to pop the question that night. You were? Oh, that is so sweet. So, what did she say? I have no idea. I stood her up. Salem, you didn't. I, I couldn't help it. I got scared. I panicked. I ran. And broke her heart. Look, I've been regretting it for four centuries. Scheherazade was the only woman I ever really le... Le... That, that thing when you like someone, but bigger. I think you mean love. Whatever. But see, I've always had this teeny tiny problem with commitment. The minute things get serious with a woman, my feet start heading for the Himalayas. You can't run forever, Salem. No, but 400 years is a good start. Look, maybe meeting her like this was fate. I mean, as long as you've both been turned into cats, you could pick up the romance where you left off. How about it? But what if she still hates me for standing her up? After 400 years? You know how women hold grudges. That's ridiculous. And I'll never forgive you for saying it. Now, come on. You've got some serious making up to do. Jeherazad, I was a cad. Please forgive me. Jeherazad, I, I was a cad. Please forgive me. Shahrazad, I killed a clam. Please forgive me. You're not getting away from me this time, Katsanova. So you forgive me for standing you out 400 years ago? Believe me, darling, there's nothing to forgive. I'm off to Tibet. Huh? But you're in love with Scheherazade. Tell my feet about it. They're running away and the rest of me is attached. Salem. I can't do it, Sabrina. I'm afraid to commit. Salem, I'm ashamed of you. Do you want to spend the rest of your life a slave to your fears? Sounds good to me. See ya. 
then we have to get you over your fear. Look, the only way to overcome your fear of commitment is to work up to it gradually. Start with a small commitment, oh. something you never do anyway. Like, oh, never going to planet Pluto in winter. Yeah, I can do that. I will definitely never visit the planet Pluto in winter. But what if the sun goes nova in a billion years in winter, and the only safe place is the farthest planet from the sun, Pluto? <laughs> I can't do it. I need my options. Huh? Don't ask. Aunt Zelda, is there some spell for a person with a fear of commitment? Sure, you turn him into a cat. I mean, to make them love someone so much they want to spend the rest of their lives together? Sabrina, it's not smart to mess in other people's love lives. Even for a witch, love has to take its own course. In this case, love is taking its course straight to Tibet. I am not giving up that easily. Okay, Spooky Jar, I need a spell. Dreams of love will haunt your sleep. But get the facts before you leave! In my day, witches listened to their jars. Hmm, suddenly, very sleepy. Honey, I'm home. Darling, I've cooked an extra special dinner. Mmm, mouse loaf. Daddy's home! Daddy's home! Daddy's home! <gasps> Let's sing the daddy song, children. We love Daddy, he's so great. He puts mouses on our plate. He is good looking, brave, and trim. We want to grow up just like him. Once more, children. We love Daddy, he's so great. He puts mouses on our plate. He's good-looking, brave, and trim. <laughs> Sabrina, you're right! It's time I took the plunge. I'm asking Scheherazade to marry me. Marry? Wow! That's way more commitment than I was expecting. Oh, I can't believe it! Our Salem is getting married! Who's the lucky feline? A witch he used to know. Her name is Scheherazade. Scheherazade? Not that man-eater. When she gets done with Salem, there'll be nothing left but his paw prints. You must be thinking of a different Scheherazade. Salem broke this one's heart 400 years ago when he stood her up at that Anne Boleyn thing. I remember that night. Scheherazade wasn't anywhere near London. Michelangelo was throwing a big party in Rome. Scheherazade was clinging to Mike like paint to a chapel ceiling. Maybe Salem thinks he stood her up, but she's really the one who dumped him. Of course, that was before she got turned into a cat for stealing the husband of every witch on the council. I... I don't believe it. It can't be the same one, can it? Hmm. Maybe I'd better do some investigating. Here's some fresh spring water, Scheherazade. From the Alps, of course. That's right, Hazel. I said married. Look, by the time Salem catches on, it will be too late. You know the rules. If I win the love of a warlock, the spell on me is broken. So, the second Salem says I do, I return to human form, and then it's goodbye, Salem. I'm off to Palm Beach. Oh, man. Hilda was right about Scheherazade. She only wants to marry Salem so she can be human again. Why didn't I check it out before I put that spell on him? It's a 
special. This stinks. <sighs> this is one small step for a cat, one giant leap for a confirmed bachelor. Huh? Come on, feet, move. You're never getting your cloud slippers at this rate. That's more like it. Salem, wait! You can't marry Scheherazade. I know all about that. You do? Sure. I do my research. Legally, cats cannot marry in this state, which is why Scheherazade and I are getting hitched in the netherworld. That isn't what I mean. I mean that Scheherazade only wants to marry you to break that spell that turned her into a cat. She doesn't love you, Salem. It's all a big con job. I should have known. I should have known you'd test my commitment with a wacko story like that. That's really nice of you, Sabrina, but there's no need. I'm definitely going through with it. Sorry, no time for games. I'm meeting Scheherazade at the Beyond the Veil wedding chapel. Don't want to be late to my own. Doors, I really hate this place. Salem! No entry? Keep out? Faculty lounge? Occupado? Please use other door? Ugh! That's gotta be it! At least it didn't lead to the dock of a thousand boats. Where to, sister? Beyond the Veil Wedding Chapel, and hurry! You got it! Yes, indeed, you got it! Yeah! <gasps> I told you not to interfere! Look before you leave. Excuse me, is this the swan boat, Diancus? You want the local? Thanks. Could you slow down? We are there! Yeah! <laughs> you know, I lose more tips that way. Phew. And here comes Salem! I have to find some way to show Salem what kind of woman Scheherazade really is! Huh? Huh! Got it! We will see how she responds to the charms of Frenchy, the great French lover. If that louse really stands me up, he's going to have a space to rent between his shoulders. Oh, any cat who would do such a thing has the escargot for the brain. Hey, slow down, lover boy. More apologies if I give the offense. I said slow down. I didn't say stop. <laughs> I'll teach that guy to make Kitty whoopee with my girl. Not that he needs any lessons. Scheherazade won't put up with that creep for long. And so the witches council, they turn me into the cat for making the love when I should have been making the magic. How tragic. Yep, she'll deck him any hour now. How do I know you're really a warlock and not just some French alley cat? Could the alley cat do? This? Ooh! For me? If you say you will be my wife, it is yours. Say we. We, 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 all the way home, lover boy. All right, I've had enough. <gasps> Salem. Come on, Scheherazade. Sorry, Salem. 
But there's a better offer on the table. Not to mention the one on my paw. I thought we had something special. We did, darling. But a Frenchie is, as the Americans put it, da bomb. Face it, Tomcat, you are the loser. Oh, yeah? Well, this loser's about to kick your frog leg eating fatty, pal. <laughs> Wait for me inside, mon chéri, while I settle things with this Tomcat. Don't be long, lover boy. I've got some zings that need settling myself. <sighs> <laughs> it's me, Salem. I, I'm sorry, but I had to show you what Scheherazade was really like. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and by the way, that was the worst French accent I've ever heard in my life. You knew? <laughs> hey, I pulled the same stunt to get out of marrying Marie Antoinette's cat. <sighs> so long, Scheherazade. Guess I'll have to find somebody else to sing the daddy song. The what song? Ah, it doesn't matter. Come on, I'll let you buy me a tuna sandwich. So you're not mad at me? No, but next time, remember... I know. Look before I leap. Uh, I was thinking, do a background check before you set somebody up, but yours is good, too. I just remembered. I'm still on half allowance until I pay for Uncle Quigley's doll. Though with Scheherazade out of the picture, the next cat show will be a snap. We'll go with the cowboy theme. I'll get you some chaps and a 10-gallon hat. I've got a better idea. This time, you be the cat. Hey, wait a minute. Now, I see you in a tutu and roller skates. Oh, and, and can you gargle the Star Spangled Banner? Self-portraits pie. As soon as we finish putting up the welcome parents banner, I think we're done. We have to make this the most perfect open house ever. Know why? You've only told us about 300 times. Your dad's coming. Oh, I cannot wait for you to meet him, Harvey. He's so funny and smart, and he's really handsome. I'm sure your dad's a great guy, Sabrina. After all, he's like your dad. He's like the best and I'm going to have him all to myself for three whole days. Sabrina! Whoa! Right now I don't want to have this ladder all to myself, okay? Oops, sorry. Sabrina, I've been looking all over for you. Major news flash. Mrs. Bleatstain named you and Harvey as this year's host and hostess of Open House. Harvey, isn't this wild? <gasps> yeah, extremely. Gonna be here. Oh, this is too perfect. Your dad sounds so cool. I'm looking forward to you and me spending some time hanging out with him. Sorry, Chloe. I've got him booked. We're gonna spend every minute together, just the two of us. Yeah? Well, like, did you ever think that your dad might also enjoy doing stuff with other people while he's in town? No. Huh? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have no interest in piloting the first manned space flight to Mars. It wouldn't be anywhere near as exciting as being with my darling daughter, Sabrina. <laughs> the president just called. He wants you to pose for the newest face on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. We've just gotten word that Spielberg has asked you to star in every movie he makes from now on. No, 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 sorry. All I'm interested in is being with my darling daughter. Sabrina! Sabrina! Huh? I said I'll catch you later, okay? Oh, wow. We're at your house already? I've got to get home and get ready. My dad will be here any minute.
Now that's you. You're right, Salem. I should keep everything just the same. Whenever Dad comes to visit, it's always just been him and me. And the me part of it hasn't ever worn a hat. Yeah. Sabrina, nothing stays the same forever. What's up with this? It doesn't fit. And it's Dad's favorite. He gave it to me for my 10th birthday. My point exactly. Hilda, as the elder sister, I should decide how we should decorate for Edward's visit. Oh, dear. I don't know about this. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> oh, Zelda, that is so like last century. <gasps> and that is so I love Lucy. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you, Salem. I'll get it! <laughs> Sabrina! Dad! Oh, I have a surprise for you, honey. This is Futura Hidebound. Huh? She's my fiance. We're getting married, Sabrina! Isn't that great news? <laughs> Sabrina, honey, don't you want to congratulate us? No, not really. Hello, oh, nice to see you. <gasps> I don't want her here. She's going to run everything for me. Caviar, please! Futura is a normal mortal. Go with something she might actually like, like nachos, maybe. Sabrina, we could use a little help with the snacks here. Why don't you take this to Futura? She said she'd like a diet soda. Do I look like a waitress? I am so not in the mood for this. Did you see the way Edward looks at Futura? He's definitely a warlock in love. Stop it! Just stop it! What's wrong, Sabrina? Futura, Futura, Futura! What about me? Ugh. What about the fact that she's horning in and ruining my time with Dad? I hate her! Sabrina, you don't even know her. Give her a chance. Once you get to know Futura, I'm sure you'll like her. After all, Edward loves her. Enough to marry her. And Edward has always had excellent taste. He used to. Futura and I met in her shop. She's in the antiques business. Ah, that explains what she saw in Edward. Here's your soda. Thank you, Sabrina. Sure. <gasps> this is where I always sit. Right here, right next to my dad. Are you okay? Oh, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Right? Oh dear. Let me, Let me help. Good. Ooh, that sounded just a little witchy. That's exactly uh, how I feel right uh, now. Oof. Now she'll blow up and blame me, and Dad'll get rid of her that fast. <laughs> After that long flight, I had a little bit of jet lag, but I'm feeling more bubbly now. Right. Play it off like you're not totally furious. Trust me, dear, green is not your best color. What made me fall in love with Edward? Well, Quigley, I suppose it was all the things we have in common. Yeah, like going to art museums and, and horseback riding. Horseback riding? Dad, that's something you and I do together. Well, honey, it's something Futura and I enjoy doing, too. Hey, I'm thinking it'd be fun for all three of us to do it together. I don't think so. Uh, nothing can be better than this. Being here with the two girls that I love the best. Well, you're ahead of me, Dad. I still only have one guy that I love the best. Got a minute? I just wanted to tell you how much I love you. Dad, am I still your best girl?
After all, you have Futura now, and that's making you all fabulously happy and everything. What's making me fabulously happy is being here with all the people I love. If you ask me, things feel a little crowded right now. How about a walk with Futura and me before dinner? You two can get to know each other. Gee, Dan, it sounds like fun, but I have to run an errand. And I'll be back soon, okay? So you can see why I need your advice on how to get rid of her, Harvey. Sabrina, I'm not exactly an expert on stepmothers. Besides, I can't talk now. I've got to finish doing these leaves before my dad gets home. Harvey? Telephone! Uh, coming, Mom! I'll be right back. Ah! Huh? What happened? You should have seen it. This incredible wind blew the leaves right into the bags. Wow. So what am I going to do about Futura? I can't stand her. She's total nothing. Bummer. Well, if you're going to be stuck with a stepmom, too bad you can't be stuck with one that's at least fun and cool. That's it. Harvey Kinkle, you're a genius. You just figured out how this whole Futura deal can work for me. <laughs> oh, get off me. Stop it. Oh, you big clod. Hilda. It's my bouillabaisse recipe. It's my bouillabaisse pot, and I say we need more crabs. Ah! <gasps> huh? What is going on? We're making bouillabaisse for Edward. It's an elegant seafood stew. Stop that lobster! Ah! I guess I'll just talk to Sam about the plan for making future of the stepmother of my dreams. So that's how I figure I can stop Futura from ruining everything for me. I can make her into somebody I'll like and enjoy having with. And? And all I need is one teensy weensy teeny itty bitty spell. Right. Uh-huh. Well, I'll need to think about whether or not this is something I can help you with. I'll keep you in catnip, squeaky toys, and tuna dip for a week. A month. Done. Name your spell. Well, my first choice would be something that would send her on a permanent vacation to Alaska. But... What do I look like? Spells unlimited? Go with something from the standard inventory, okay? In that case, I want to make future somebody I would like. Somebody cool, fun. You know, like me. And this is going to be something your father is going to like, right? Salem, this is about making this whole Futura thing work for me, okay? Fine. In that case, I have the perfect spell. I invented it myself. It's a killer. And the best part is, I receive a nice fat royalty every time it's used. <laughs> Look in this mirror and your face you'll see. But a carefree 12-year-old is what you'll actually be. Just get Futura to take a good look at herself in this thing and bang! She'll be your soulmate. She'll want to do all the same things I do? Cool. I'll get my dad and a new cool friend. Sabrina, come in. I was so hoping we would have a chance to chat. Right. Great idea. I hope I wasn't too much of a surprise, but your father insisted. Hey, that's my middle name. Sabrina surprised me, Spellman. You know, when I was just about your age, my father brought home a new stepmother, and I really hated the idea of having to share my dad with some strange woman. Oh, wow. Hey, cool mirror, huh? You know all about antiques, right? Take a look. See what you think. This is an exquisite piece. Quite old. French, I believe. Are you sure? Look some more. Get in there really close. So, Futura, who's your favorite band? The Boston Pops. Really? Your favorite actor? Cary Grant. He reminds me of your father. Sabrina, don't hurry off. Stay, let's talk. Sorry, I have an order of catnip I've got to cancel. Huh? Oh. The mirror's a dud. That lame spell must be way past the expiration date. I'll have you know that spell made spell of the year eight years in a row during the 60s. Thanks for nothing. 
There you are, Sabrina. Honey, I have a surprise for you. I don't think I can stand any more surprises today. You and I are going out to dinner tonight. Really? <clears throat> really. It was Futura's idea. When we were taking our walk earlier, she said she thought we could use some quality dad and daughter time. Dad, this is exactly what I wanted. So, uh, where do you want to go? I know the absolute best place. Really funky and... Yoo-hoo! Hey, you guys, wait up! <laughs> Ta-da! Futura, why are you dressed like Sabrina? Go Salem. Oh, wow, I am, like, so hungry, and I totally know what I want to eat. Chili dogs? Oh, my gosh, you are, like, completely psychic. What should we do next? I know! Bumper cars! Yes! But we've been on them three times already. I was hoping we could just go someplace for a quiet dinner and... Oh, Edward, don't be such a fuddy-duddy! Dibs on the green car! Futura, what's gotten into you? I feel like I'm out with a 12-year-old. And stop that jumping. You're acting like a lunatic. And you're acting like a total fossil. Hey, Sabrina! <gasps> Harvey, what are you doing here? Oh, Pi had a saltwater taffy emergency. Great! You can both meet my dad. Dad, I want you to meet... Oh, wow. Are you a <gasps> babe or what? Huh? Are you into bumper cars? I love bumper cars. Oh, we are so out of here. Dad, what's wrong? I don't understand what's happened. The woman I loved is, is gone, just like that. Oh, Sabrina, I feel like my heart's gonna break. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. No, honey, I'm sorry. I, I screwed up. I, I shouldn't have just sprung Futura on you like I did. I, I should have taken my time thought things out. I'm gonna take a little walk and clear my head. Oh, Dad, this is all my fault. Sitting on a bench talking to yourself has been determined to be a possible indicator of the onset of premature weirdness, me amigo. Pi, I have screwed up big time. Expand. All I wanted was to have my dad to myself. I wanted it to be just me and my dad. Or if I couldn't have that, I wanted a stepmother who was cool so that I could. I, myself, and I. So we're talking about what? Not taking other people's feelings into consideration, maybe? How do you do that? Being out of it and really smart all at the same time? Futura, over here! I need to speak to you. I finally realized what you're doing. Huh? This silly teenager act. It's to get Sabrina to like you. I love you for trying so hard. But all you have to do is be yourself, honey. Eddie, you're such a goof. I am being myself. Cotton candy, yes! Huh? I've ruined my dad's life. What am I going to do? Later, Dad. Night, Futura. Gotta ask Salem something before he goes to sleep. You better be packing catnip and squeaky toys. A deal's a deal. 
Forget the deal. I want you to reverse the spell this minute. Now. No can do, mon petit fleur. Ah! My dad is about to lose someone he loves very much because all I could think about was me and what I wanted. Well, now I'm thinking about my dad and what he wants. And you're going to help me make him happy. Pronto. Sorry, Blondie. You'll just have to wait until the spell wears off. And that will take two or three days. <gasps> two or three days? They could be so apart in three days. Then you'll just have to find a way to keep them together, won't you? Omelette sausages? Perfect. Hmm. Coffee, juice, muffins. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A romantic breakfast on the patio. That'll keep Dad and Futura together. <coughs> Dad? What are you doing up so early? I wanted to surprise you and Futura. Oh, that's sweet, honey, but unfortunately, Futura's gone. Gone? Where? I found this note on her door. It says, gone boarding. Whatever that means. Uh, honey, I don't think Future and I will be getting married after all. She's not the woman I fell in love with. She's changed. But, Dad, she'll change back. Two, three days max. I guarantee it. Oh? You haven't been up to any mischief, have you, my little half-witch of a daughter? Um, uh, Dad? Just don't give up on her, okay? Sabrina. Gotta go, Dad. Hey, everybody. Huh? Wow, they've got this awesome half pipe at the skateboard park. It is so fresh. <laughs> Later, gotta snag a shower. I'm waiting. Well, see, I was so busy thinking about what I wanted, which was to have you all to myself. That when you showed up with Futura, all I could think about was how to make the whole deal work for me. So then, I kind of put a spell on her. Dad? What? Say something. <sighs> You've behaved like a spoiled brat, Sabrina. I know, and I'm so sorry. I love you, Dad. I just want you to be happy. I really, really love you. And I really, really love you. Now just tell me one more thing. What exactly did you do to Futura? Well, I used this to... No! Welcome to our open house. Really, Sabrina? It's kind of fun. Harvey, it's totally humiliating, okay? Sabrina, where's your dad? Everybody is talking about him. <laughs> Bumper cars later, honey? Absolutely, Dad. Three more days till the spell wears off? Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Da -da -da -da. Good job!